Tens of thousands of people gathered in central Tokyo on Sunday to protest the restarting of nuclear reactors. Individuals of all ages and occupations took part, including women with small children. They were protesting the recent resumption of two reactors at the Oi nuclear plant on the Sea of Japan coast. Participants learned of today's rally via Twitter and the Internet. The demonstrators marched to the industry ministry building. They called for halting the reactors that resumed operation this month. I was shocked that the reactors were restarted despite our strong opposition. It's time for us to take action against the government. I came here because I thought it's wrong to operate the reactors continually. The politicians are ignoring our views. The demonstrators surrounded the Diet Building Sunday evening. The organizer says there were 200,000 participants. Police estimate the number at around 14,000. Japan will announce a plan this week to rebuild its slumping economy. The government has come up with a strategy for achieving a growth rate of 3%. The plan covers three sectors, medical and nursing care, energy and agriculture. The government will make funds available for the use of Japanese robot technology in medical and nursing care. Some hospitals began using robots two years ago for treatment and rehabilitation programs. The robots help patients to move their arms and legs by reading the electrical signals sent by muscles. When I started rehabilitation, I could hardly move my legs at all. I hope more robots will be available. I think patients with serious problems may be able to significantly improve their condition. The government will review the medical insurance system to cover the cost of using robots. Officials also hope to establish new markets in the other two sectors. Altogether, it is hoped that these will be worth more than $1 trillion and will create 4.2 million jobs. The accident at Fukushima Daiichi had widespread consequences in Japan, on the environment, on society, and on government policy. Now we're seeing the impact of the disaster on education. Students are turning away from the field of nuclear science, and just when the industry needs them the most, for the decades-long decommissioning process at Fukushima, and to keep an eye on the rest of the country's power plants. The Japan Atomic Industrial Forum helps the nuclear industry recruit new workers. The number of students interested in working in the nuclear field has dropped. This has been noticeable at university job fairs. In the past, the nuclear industry was seen as helping to combat global warming and having export potential. Many students were keen to work in it. But since the crisis in Fukushima last year, the number of participants has dropped by three quarters. Ensuring the safety of existing nuclear plants, the problem of decommissioning reactors and treating spent nuclear fuel, it's clear that we need people to work in this industry or we will face huge problems. An NHK survey of universities and graduate schools has confirmed this drop in interest in the nuclear industry. 37% said the number of students wanting to study the subject has fallen, while 47% said there has been no change. Fukui University of Technology was one that reported a significant drop. Fukui Prefecture has the highest concentration of nuclear plants in Japan, 
and the university has a long track record of supplying engineers to the nuclear industry around the country. On this day, students were practicing how to read radiation levels. Professor Fumio Nakayasu from the university's Department of Applied Nuclear Technology says nuclear science used to be a very popular major. Since last year's nuclear crisis, the number of students applying for the course has dropped by 50 percent. This year, only 10 students took the course, less than half the available slots. At this open campus event held recently, high school students visited other booths, but few visited the one for nuclear studies. Since this department was set up, no student has failed to get a job after graduating because society needs our know-how and skills. In the morning, only four students stopped by the booth. If there are no nuclear power plants operating, there won't be jobs for us. It seems to me that unless Japan's nuclear plants are restarted, there will be fewer jobs. It's probably better to focus on electrical engineering. Increasingly, students are reluctant to work in nuclear power, and that's worrying. If this is only for a few years, it may not have much impact. But if this trend continues for 10 or 20 years, the quality and the number of people working in the industry will drop significantly. The University of Tokyo has long been a training ground for nuclear industry officials, including top policymakers. The university is worried that unless nuclear power feels more relevant to society, students' interest will continue to decline. From this April, the curriculum was revised to include classes in the field of communications. Students are also taught there are serious consequences when technology fails. They will hear from survivors of an airplane crash. The lesson we have learned from Fukushima is that the disaster was caused not only by a failure of technology, but people and society were also at fault. Koichi Kitazawa chaired an independent panel set up to investigate the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident. People in Japan have a negative view of nuclear power now, and students cannot override that. This is influencing their decision-making, and the number of students applying to study nuclear energy is dropping. Unless the government lays out its plan for the future, no one will be able to see what lies ahead for Japan's nuclear industry. Nuclear technology and radioactive materials aren't just used in power plants. People in the fields of medicine and space development also rely on them. That's why educators and those in the industry say more needs to be done to encourage students to study nuclear science. The March 11th disaster last year resulted in a huge loss of life in coastal areas in northeastern Japan. Evacuation drills are being held across the country to increase awareness of the dangers of giant tsunami. 2,000 people took part in a drill held in Tanabe City in Wakayama, western Japan. They assumed that a massive quake off the Pacific coast had created a 12-meter wave. About 70 people climbed onto the roof of a three-story building. Another 30 fled to a shrine compound 30 meters above sea level. I can run now, but I'm not sure once I get older. I want to use this drill to see how we can achieve a swifter evacuation. The organizers were able to meet their goal of evacuating people within 25 minutes. Another drill was held for fishing boats in Komatsushima City, Tokushima. A Coast Guard patrol ship ordered the vessels to quickly move to calmer waters about five kilometers from the coast. The fishing boats took about 30 minutes to reach the designated area.